welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're going to be setting up our player HUD for our character and so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our content drawer, we're going to right click and we're going to come down to user interface and select the widget blueprint and for this we're just going to put in uh, player HUD underscore WID. Open up and we're going to get a canvas panel and then we want four progress bars. Just drag them in for now. Uh, we want to set this up to be, uh, we're going to set ours up to be 50 and 50, like so. So they're going to be quite tiny uh, on our bottom left. So anchor them as well to the bottom left, like so. And what we want to do is we don't need a background image uh, because we want it to be blank um, as a background image. Uh, for the empty as well, so we have background image and we should have a fill image. So we want that to be the health icon that we have there. And um, so when it's full, it's like that. And we also want it to go from top to bottom. So when it's zero, oh, sorry, other way around, bottom to top. Uh, there we go. So it goes down our health. Uh, okay. And the next thing we also want to do is uh, we want that to be as image as well. Uh, because of the blue color, it, it's made it, the yellow and the blues made it a green. Um, so what we're actually going to do is actually just change it to a yellowy color so that it's closer to the real image. So we have, uh, it looks very similar now to what we had before and it will slowly go down as our health goes down. And we're gonna do the same for the other five, uh, other three, should I say even. Uh, so let's bring this down so we can get a bit closer. First one, uh, we can do this for all of them. So, so select them all and do 50 and 50. So they're all the same shape and bring them up so they roughly sit at the same point as the other one and like so <clears throat> so the next one we want is uh stamina so again these all need to be set the same so select them all again and we're going to set the a's to zeros for the background image we'll have to do the fill image separately and then we'll set all of their colors to uh yellow and we're also going to change um all of them from bottom to top as well. So we're kind of saving ourselves a little bit of work by doing each one of them like so. And so the next one we want is uh, stamina. And again, don't forget to fill them up so we can actually see them. Oh, why is it drawn like that? Uh, well, it works, but it's got that weird kink in it. We'll have to have a look at that separately. That's uh, an issue with the image, I believe, not with the um yeah i think the images have come through a bit a bit weird um that's fine and then we want uh thirst did i name it thirst oh i named it water icon there you go and there's that one as well <clears throat> oh i know what it is it's because i've not drawn them as image that's that's why so don't forget to click the draw as image there we go that looks a lot better and um, then just reposition them so they sit a little bit less spaced out uh, again, it's whatever you guys feel would look better for your game. And that is the HUD setup for now. That's all we kind of need just to keep an eye on our health, stamina, food, uh, etc. So that's all paired to the bottom left now. So we can close this down for a second, but we need to go into our third person character. There's a few things we need to do in here. So the first thing is, is find your event, begin play. Now it will be where the add input mapping is, um, it, will, it needs to share it. So we want it to do its input mapping first, but then on event begin play, what we want to do is um, uh, we want to create a widget like so. And we want to add to viewport and the widget we're going to be adding is going to be our player HUD. <clears throat> Very simple stuff. And then what we need to do is create a few variables. Now the first variable we're going to want is um, a health, or we'll say current health, like so. 
and we're going to create an integer. Now I'm going to categorize everything this time so it's all a little bit neater and we'll call this vitals. So everything goes under the vitals. Um, max health um, current uh, stamina max stamina and again just select each one and add it into the vitals category so that it's nice and neat. Um, and we're going to try and categorize everything as we go along uh, just to keep everything very very neat and simple. So we've got current health, current stamina, uh, current hunger, max hunger, current thirst, max thirst <clears throat> and again add those into the correct category there we go and that way when we want to we can just kind of shut those down and just find the correct variables we're looking for so each one of these now need a default so compile on the top left here click on current health to begin with and we're going to give ourselves 150 health to begin with and we're going to make our maximum 150 for now we're then going to create stamina. Now, stamina, I'm going to give myself 200. Like so. Uh, current hunger is going to be 500. Maximum hunger is going to be 500. Current thirst is going to be 500. And current and max thirst is also going to be 500. So we've got a few different variables kind of we're going to be working with. And um, fingers crossed we're going to um, see a lot of difference when we go through to the other side. Now today we're going to be setting up health um, and to do that what we're going to do now is we need to do two more things in today's episode. First one is on our uh, player HUD. We're going to click on our health progress bar and we're going to find the progress part here. We're going to get our percentage and we're going to bind the percentage. And what we need to do is we need to get that current health value and return it here so that we can see uh, our health and what, what's happening with it. And this will update gradually. So the first thing we're going to want to do with this is we're going to need to cast to our third person character. Like so. And we're going to get our player character. Once we've done that, we're going to need to get our um, current health. And we're also going to need to get maximum. Get our max health, sorry. There we go. And we're going to want to do uh, an F inter. No, we're not. We're going to do a two flow. Uh, actually, I tell a lie. What we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to change something. We're going to change these two uh, floats. They're a lot easier to deal with and we can get some more precise uh, figures. So change, just for now, change these to floats, but I'm probably going to end up changing all of these to floats, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it works better with the percentage bar. So now these are floats, we're going to get an F in turp 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to unhook that and we're going to divide our current health by our maximum health, like so. And we're going to plug that as the target. So what we're updating to, that's the target. And we're going to promote this, promote to a variable. And um, we'll call this, um, what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, up updated health and the updated health is basically going to be our constant that's going to be what our health is currently at then we'll take our health away they'll do the calculation and we'll, we'll basically move it to this new value and then set it at that new value uh, the next thing we want to do is get our um, get world delta seconds like so and then we'll do an interp steep speed of about four Again, you can change yours if you want to, but that's up to you what you want. Fours, uh, I think, is a, isn't a bad 
uh, number. But you can up or down it depending on what you want to do. And then plug your updated health into your return node. Now, once we've done that, there's one more thing we need to do in the event graph. On event construct, we're going to cast to third person character, very similar to what we just did. Uh, and we're going to go get player character from that. We're going to basically do something very similar to this. We're going to grab that, like so plug those in and what we're going to do is set that as our updated health so that means when we first spawn in and we get our health bar it will automatically get that updated health and set it to that um, so if we had 80 health left over it will automatically set it to 80 um, this updated health and then when we take damage the idea is that this will then recalculate and interpret from 80 down to like let's say 60 as an example. We can test this out. So first of all, let's make sure our HUD is working fine. If we press play, it's down on the bottom left. That's great. And we need to just create one new thing. And we're gonna create an actor. We're gonna call this uh, health reduction uh, BP and remove that space, that troublesome space. And this is just a test item just for us to um, see if we lose some health so let's get a collision box uh, like that'll do nicely let's just make it a little bit bigger like so there we go that should do we're also going to add in a um, static mesh so we can see where it is and we'll call this cube because it's just going to be a cube um, we'll grab a cube any cube will do that's clearly far too big there you go. We've, we've got a funky shaped cube, but we have one. Right. And then on the event graph, all we're going to do is uh, on click on the box here and scroll down on the right hand side and you should have a uh, on begin uh, overlap. And we're going to just say cast to third person character because that's the only thing we want to take damage on impact. And we're going to basically uh, we're just going to get our current health and all we're going to do is minus off a value. So every time we collide with this box, we're going to remove 10 health and then we're going to set current health. Now I'm, you can see I'm not making this very neat and that is because uh, it's just for testing purposes. We're not going to use this as any final code. So I'm not exactly too worried. Ah, and it would help if I put one in the world, wouldn't it? There we go. Grab one of those. There he is. We know when we collide with this cube, we should take some damage. There we go. We've just lost 10. We've lost 20. It's gone down. And as you can see, it's going down gradually. It's not just removing a chunk. It's going down very gradually. There we go. And every time we go in, we just lose a little bit more. And that's working. Great. So we have a working uh, health bar now. And from this, once we add some enemies in, we can start making them do damage to us. And eventually, if we get to zero, we die. And on this one, uh, it's going to be very similar to the survival series that I'm currently working on. But when we get to zero thirst or food, we will also very slowly begin to lose health. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line. And for anyone else who's been here before, thank you so much for all your support. And I'll see you in the next episode. Much love. Take care. Bye.